It's a new football season and the kickoff is live every single weekend with the Roundtable Debate Show on the Kickoff YouTube channel. This weekend it's Manchester City versus Newcastle and we will be live from 7.30 Saturday night. We'll see you there. The future and the legacy of Harry Maguire. Uh, he's basically set to leave Manchester United. They've had a bid, at, I want to say, for around 30, 30, million. 30 million from That's West Ham. Did they, have they accepted that? They, they have. Yeah, accepted okay. It's it's close. okay, so now the, the decision's with him and previously it didn't seem like he wanted to leave Man United. I just feel like he's going to have to accept, like, mate, you're not at this level. And I feel like he was stubborn for a while. He really wanted to compete for his place, but now he's just accepting reality. Do we think that that's a good fee for Harry Maguire for a start? And how do we think that that deal is going to work out for West Ham? think? At that, at that age, I think that's a, that's a decent I, I feel like it's a, ter it's a terrible fee because fee, I think if you look at the culture of uh, the types of transfers that are moving around, if he was in better form, he would have gone for more, obviously not left, but he would have gone for way more. It's so bad that you lose over a, just under a third of your value. And I feel like, and I'm, I'm going to say this because this is my narrative about Manchester United, it's such a terrible culture for players yeah, that is that are not elitely men mentally strong, that he should have been playing at a much higher level. He shouldn't be as bad. The decline shouldn't be as high. And I think in a better environment, he may actually perform better. I think he'll do well at West Ham and we'll look at it and be like, actually, he's a decent, he's not top, top level. He's a decent centre-back. Okay. And Manchester United need to look at the culture of their team because they keep destroying mean? players. So, so did, did you, right, so KJ's just come back. Yeah. The 30 million from Harry Maguire. You've watched Harry Maguire closely for a long time. Can't wait. Can't wait for him to leave? Absolutely. Okay. Do you think West Ham are getting good value for 30 million? Absolutely. They're getting a... They're getting they, a they've quality. already... You don't have to convince them. They've already... <laughs> no. they've already Be no, honest. No, Be honestly. Honest. They're, getting a, they're getting a good player. It's just... You know when it just doesn't work at Man United? Sometimes players can't play there. It's not It's not for everybody. It's a big... It's a It's a huge club. Like it or not, we're... And you we're think the, that's why he failed? Yeah. And then, then it got bad. I think he, he became the villain. Of because mm. um, Oli steps in, he makes him the captain that straight was, away. That was a disastrous. That's disaster. the that, that was, was where it went wrong immediately. Well, that was what he was he was bought to do. That's what he not to be. He the was, he's not that. He's not. A, he's he not thinks a, he's he, the captain. He's not a captain of Manchester. But he no. thinks he is though. Do you think? He, yeah, but absolutely. No, but he I, I, absolutely I, thinks he's captain you, do, material. Do, but do you think he he thinks he is because they made him so? <laughs> it wasn't like he do thought that that's before. The, the, well, the way he presented himself in England, the way he presented himself when he he's first got a came captain in. Vibe, and I'm hearing well, that. Well, it's not just because he's a big centre back though. Well, I don't know. You sometimes you know you see a player and they say future England captain. You yeah. know you I see a player and they say it straight away. It made them more shy guy. I think he got he got thrown under the bus a little bit with that decision. He he's joined a team that weren't at that point really didn't have a direction of travel at all. Yeah. So he's joined that team, been thrown in there, new signing, huge fee, which was too expensive, let's be honest about it, and then had the added pressure of being made a captain. And he's just, he's, he's, he's fallen I under that a, pressure. I think personally, and I, I want to get Josh's take on this after me because I know you quite rate him, I think he is one of the most overrated players I've ever seen. Nah. I think he's trash. I think he's absolutely useless. I wouldn't have him near the Newcastle side. I think Jamal Lascelles, who's our reserve defender, yeah. is just as good as Harry Maguire. But for some reason, people have just got into Harry Maguire because of the form at Leicester. Yeah. He has been... The amount of individual errors he has committed at Manchester United, that is the thing that... It's all right, been incredible. Yeah, like, it's almost a record. But you, let me, let me you, come back record you defender, you, you've literally committed the most <laughs> errors as a record. Every game, the amount of mistakes he made is where it's a lack of concentration, horrendous on the ball. Yeah. He, he gives the ball away in such clumsy ways. He is, he's docile. I this don't is trust it. So my thing is, right, he's a, for the way we want, the way, there's a way Man United want to play and there's some players that just can't play at Man United. It's one, but it's no, not about not, that. No, it, no, but I think he'll be a good when he goes to West Ham. Okay, so when he goes to West Ham, Josh, he's not going to be in Josh trouble. does rate him and I, what, do you, what do you think? Because I've obviously trashed him. I, I just <laughs> think, I just think um, it's Man United fans, right, have really put pressure on Harry Maguire to a level where everything he seems to do, he, it, it, it's uh, castigated. Like he's shown to be like a, a rubbish player. And I just, but, not just, but I they're just, not, not just like, a fan. No, you can't, no. can't blame us for that. If he, if Giroud, if there's, if there's a foot race here and Giroud gets in front of him and he's had a head start, something's wrong. In there's certain games, there's many games. So what, what he's saying is not a bad thing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm with him in terms of he makes a lot of mistakes, but it's not the Man United fan. I believe that he's just. He can't play there. It's but just it's not, he can't deal with the pressure. Is it? Is it? Is it 
fans from other clubs that are making out that he's this like uh, caricature he player become a where he's figure. so bad? It, or is it coming from... Because I feel for me it's coming from Man United fans where they're just like, get him out of my team. I'm so ready no, to go. I mean, it's, coming is from, it not, it's coming from the whole football is it? world. The whole it? thing. It's like, he's done. become a meme because yeah. of his mistakes. But I don't think that's the, Manchester United. The, the, he fact. wasn't a meme before the mistakes. I think I think for me though, that if you look at his skills, like he can run out of... Uh, he can p uh, pull the ball out of defence. He can yeah. pass out of defence. Yep. He can run with the he ball. Stop. Uh, and he's a good tackler. And he's good in the air. I just think he'll end up going to, like like we say, a West Ham. But I think he could do a job, do well. a very good job at Spurs. He do really well. Yeah, could. West, so like, West Ham will suit him because they've yeah. like defined their very defensive. Okay, so let, let, me, let me counter. When you have more of the ball at a top club, you get challenged less. He will be exposed at West Ham. Yeah. People will look at him, and I'm just making... Uh, he will be it. tested more, and the more he gets tested, the more of these individual errors will happen, nah. and the more I, this 30 million nah. will look insane. I think well, he'll be nah. one of one of the better players at West Ham. Maybe. He'll be good, and that he gets his head to everything. He's yeah, going to be yeah. one of those that be they're going to well. be bombarded, and it's, it's his, his type of football. It's because at Man United, the expectation is different, <laughs> and the fact that the armband was the... That was the, probably the worst thing yeah, that could yeah, happen, yeah, yeah, is giving Harry Maguire by the armband because then after those moments where he was making mistakes and what was comparing it to is well it felt like he had to be in the team because this was a captain. 60 million investment and he was the captain hey, hey. because um people that have left there was um by he said by left and then there was another defender okay. that rojo okay. he said look your play he's only in the team Purely because... Okay, the, the narrative, though, was when, when you brought the better defenders in, yeah. was that, oh, well, this takes the pressure off Harry now, so when he does play, he won't feel the pressure as much. Still shite. Yeah. No, but, no, but I think, I think <laughs> Man United have, they haven't really uh, addressed the defensive midfielder position up until Casemiro. last year. And so he was heavily exposed by the lack that, of midfield. That is fair. The, yeah, the, the McFred partnership was probably one of the worst midfield But we did it for him. In the top we did eight. it to protect him. We no, did it no, for but, you. No, no, <laughs> no, no but I, I'm, I'm saying that I feel like when and this is again about a cultural thing about Man United and I think often when we talk about it in the football sphere we, we don't acknowledge that teams have cultures and there's areas where like you need a certain type of player to survive the fact that Lukaku failed Di Maria failed so many big players at Manchester United go and fail because the culture doesn't allow you to not be jumping jumping straight into the team and being effective you can't like right now Havertz will get three six months playing in Arsenal and he will be covered He'll be supported by the manager, the squad, the team. Whatever happens, there are people around him that's going to create a culture where he feels safe to be there. If he was at Man United after two bad games, it's like, what have okay. you done? I, I agree to, to, to an extent with you. No, 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 no. In regards to in regards to players failing, yeah. if you look at players who've come with a lot of promise and a lot of hype, yeah. Man United have been a, a dodgy it's club. Been a graveyard. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you said so I do understand that, but I think now Ten Hag is trying to change that, Different and he is culture. he is doing a, a decent job of it. So so one of the first things he's doing is get rid of him. Yeah. You know, so like if he's the good manager with the better decision making and, and the better um, tactical now than all these other managers, and the first thing he wants to do is get Harry Maguire out of the team. He dropped Harry Maguire for Luke Shaw Quick. at centre back Quick. immediately. Quick. First, he yeah. was like, you are shite. His yeah. actions spoke. Yeah. So Absolutely. for me, but, I just think it, but, he'll be exposed but at Fred West Fred just left. Phil Jones left two months ago. Yeah, there's a still a lot around Manchester United that needs to be refreshed. Hey, in, 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 in a year's time, we can start saying that actually he's building the culture. Because if you think about Arteta, even the year before we did well, Bro. there was just a, enough dead wood around Bro. to mess up the culture. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. The coach at Man United is different, bro. As someone that is on the like is there on the ground. No, 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 no. It the is I'm, I'm on not, the ground, I'm not, bro. I'm, I'm not, telling you right now. I'm saying it is a different culture altogether. The guy is fully in control, like, and there's not there's not the the level that you can get as close to the players. Yeah, but Martial's but he's, still there. There's, there's just I'm saying but he there's don't just play. play. You don't my play. point is that in the building. I'm not saying that the culture is bad or they're not going to get better. I'm saying it takes a while to get rid of the stench of some of those players and some of them are still around the squad that have no business being there. Okay, so we've until got, they're we've gone, got a in. there's going to be a challenge. The fans have said, who are listening right now, shout out yeah. to you lot. Don't forget shout to subscribe. 63% uh, think Harry Maguire is worth the 30 million that West Ham are paying. There you go. So right, I'm wrong. Worth. There you go. I mean, I'm telling you. Or they're all full of shit. 30 <laughs> million for an English, <laughs> no, for an English starting centre-back is, is actually oh, a really good let's deal. Let's not talk about Gareth Southgate's decision. <laughs> Gareth Southgate <laughs> is still saying that Jordan Henderson might get a fucking game for England. M Maguire will go back in the England squad because he's, he he's going to be playing week in, week out. And I genuinely believe in, in that he'll play some really efficient football and he will look good again. I, I just, I can't see it any other way. I don't think he I was a bad wrong. player. I, got, I think yeah. the surroundings, the team, the 
lack of protection and the scale of Manchester United was just too much for him. And it's fine. It happens. Well, I was critical of him that he got picked for the World Cup because he wasn't playing. But i got to say, in the World Cup for England, I thought, I thought he was good. And he yeah, always it, is good for England. But, but this is the thing, right? Being good for England. When you look at the teams England play and you look at a list of the teams that we beat on the road to these cup finals, you're like... Well, of course. Yeah, but he did it in the tournament, though, as well. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not disputing that. But like, if we took Harry Maguire out and put another um, Premier League level centre back in that's, there, that's fair. I do not worry. think. Yeah, but, so yeah, I, I swear to God, I watch Jamal Lascelles wow. regularly, nah. and wow. people look at Jamal Lascelles and think Brian. he's a bang average, you know, Premier League centre back. I, I say Jamal Lascelles is easily as good as Harry Maguire. That's no. crazy. Easily. That's crazy. And, and this, isn't a, this, this isn't because I like Jamal Lascelles or he's a Newcastle player. This is based on what I've been watching. You sure, mate? You, you, you Jamal even... Lascelles is just as composed, just as good in the air, just all the same attributes, strong, a leader, all of that, and yet is probably not great with the ball at his feet. You didn't everything even say that, Mings. Everything that Harry Maguire does, yeah. Jamal Lascelles can do. I, I would have said Mings. If you had Mings, you would have you yeah. would have got me. But I think legit, Jamal Lascelles is out of it. Mings was found out. Mings, Mings was found nah, out nah, playing nah. Franklin. I'm not having any Mings slander. <laughs> Mings. Nah, Tora, 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 he didn't Mings. get in the squad. Though. He didn't, Tora he, Mings has never ever let England down. You look at the clean sheets record really, when Mings has played. played. And, and, and he really follows me on LinkedIn. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Jamal Lascelles has never let England down either. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>